button and we're going to solve uh, in our English booklet. Don't open the book now, just listen to me. When it's time for you to open the book and start solving, I will tell you the page number and you will open it. Someone just joined before I start sharing the screen. Good morning, Lamar. I'm going to stop the video because of the internet connection while I'm sharing the screen, okay? If you have any questions while I'm explaining, you can interrupt me or raise the computer hand. Please don't press the unmute if you don't have a question or if I didn't say your name to answer some questions. Uh, please listen to me very well because it's a new lesson. This is our new grammar lesson. It's about expanding and combining sentences. Uh, expanding, it's when we want to make the sentence bigger. This is what the word expanding means when something gets bigger. Mariam, listen to me. Combining, it's when we are joining two sentences together or more. Combining means joining. But first, before I start with expanding on combining sentences, I want to explain something simple, but you use it a lot. It's called possessive, possessive noun. But first, what is a noun? Who can tell me? Batul. If you don't know, then I will explain. What's a noun? A noun? Yes. Okay, I will tell uh, you. I forgot. A, a noun is a place, thing, person, or animal. For example, Noor. Yes. Noor is a person. So Noor is a noun. For example, dog. Dog is a noun. Girl is a noun. Uh, Beirut is a noun. Laptop is a thing, so it's a noun, okay? This is a noun. What is a noun? A noun is a place, thing, animal, or person. And when I go to a possessive noun, it shows who or what owns or has something. For example, Mahmoud has a blue bag. I will say Mahmoud's bag. I added the apostrophe. When I say apostrophe, this is it. For example, Malik. I'm going to write Malik. This is Malik. Malik, okay? Malik has a pen. The pen is for Malik. Malik owns the pen. So it's Malik's pen. I will add apostrophe and an S. Malik's pen. Okay, this is what I mean, Mahmoud, you can talk. We learned this when we are in the KG3, we learned this. Okay, so now I am reminding you about it, okay? A possessive noun shows... still know it. Okay, a possessive, maybe you know it, but others know. So just let me remind and re-explain it, okay? A possessive noun shows okay. who or what owns or has something. Here we have another example. The girl's cat is nice. The girl owns the cat. Did you understand? So it's the girl's cat because the girl owns the cat. Yes, Mina. Can you give me a sentence uh, that has a possessive noun? Yasmina, can you hear me? Okay, I'm gonna see who raised hands or drawing first. Number one, uh, Lauren is gonna read number one.
Lauren. Dạ, coi. Dạ, coi. Dạ, coi. Dạ, dạ. The kite. Dạ. Dạ. Be belong. Belongs to the girl. To the girl. How should we write it using a possessive? Listen, this one, it's in page 140 in your booklet. You can open your booklet to page 140, 140. Open your booklet to page 140. The girl's kite? The yeah. girl's kite? The girl's kite. We're gonna write it this way. Apostrophe S because the kite belongs to the girl. Girl. Bravo. Maryam Hamoud, number two. Number two. The. 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 the Job, job, the job. That belongs, belongs to mom. mom. How are we going to write a phrase using a possessive noun? Rimi, I'm gonna choose you, but not now, later. I promise. Yella, Mariam, try. Uh, the job that belongs to mom. Sabrina yeah. will help you, okay? Mariam, listen. Yes. Yes. Yella, Rimi. How should we write it? The, it's, it's mom jobs. Mom's, mom's. Mom's job. job. Because the job belongs to the mom, not the mom belongs to the job. Okay? Yasmina, read number three. Okay. You are uh, solving it in page 140. Yasmina, uh, since you just uh, joined, open your English booklet to page 140, 140. And you're gonna solve it with us. That 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 belongs to the cat. Bravo! How how are we going to write a phrase using a possessive noun? The, the cat. Excellent. Dish. The cat's dish. Because the dish belongs to to the cat. Did you understand it, Yasmina, or I should re-explain? Yes. I understand. I understand. Excellent. You can that all that belongs to the dog. The ball that belongs Mama. to the dog. Dog's ball. Bravo, because the ball belongs to the dog. So the dog's ball. Don't forget the apostrophe and the letter S. Understood, we are done with this page. I think you still have number five or more. You can solve it alone in your booklet. Okay? Okay. Now I'm going to start with the grammar lesson. <clears throat> Expanding, I told you, when we want to make something bigger. Combining, it's when we want to join two sentences. So we use the word and. When we want to join two sentences, we use the word and. To join or we're going to join the subjects or two predicates. I'm gonna explain. For example, here we have Tom and Jim, like dogs. We joined two subjects. Who like dogs? Tom and Jim. 
Here we joined two subjects using the word and. When we are joining two predicates, Jan, Jan what? What am I trying to tell you about Jan? Jan likes reading and hiking. Uh, I'm gonna give another example. Uh, Rimi and Lauren, I joined two subjects. Rimi and Lauren were talking. So I joined Rimi and Lauren using the word and. I'm gonna give you another example. Zainab likes uh, reading and writing. I joined two predicates uh, using the word and. Um, Noor, give me a sentence using the word and, joining uh, or two subjects or two predicates. Uh. Okay, Mah Mahmoud can help Noor. Yes. Can you help uh, Noor to give me an example uh, joining two subjects or two predicates? Yes. Yeah. Like two subjects and two predicates or two one or, or two predicates. Oh. Uh, okay, Malik. I'm thinking of one. Okay, uh, I will come back to you. Malik, do you what? have one? Yes. Yeah. I like to play football and basket. Excellent. I like to play football and basketball. He joined two predicates. I have one. I have one. Yes. Okay, I can I hear have one. Yeah. I like I love to eat sandwich and play football. Bravo, I like to eat sandwich and play football. Yalla, Ali has the same before I start solving this. Yeah. Miss, I know. Yes. Miss, I like to play PlayStation and football. Excellent. This is how we join two predicates. Now stop. Uh, this page, it's in page 100, it's page 144 in your English booklet. Open page 144, 144. Lamar, read the first sentence. Lamar. Yes. Read the first sentence. We have to use the word and combine each pair of sentences. Paula. 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 Yes. Cleaned. Clean the kitchen. Kitchen. The second sentence. Randy cleaned the kitchen. Are we going to combine the subjects or the predicates? We're going predicate. to combine the subjects because we have two different subjects. We have Paula and we have Randy. Can you tell me the answer or I should help you, Lamar? I'm gonna help with the first sentence. So since we're gonna join the subject, it's gonna be Paula and Randy clean the kitchen. Because we have the same predicate, we only joined the subjects. Paula and Randy cleaned the kitchen. Berji, solve number two. Uh, 
uh, and uh, Joe asked for help. Okay. Are you going to join the subject or the predicates? Subject. Mm, okay, correct. Chelsea and Joe asked for help. Excellent. Bravo. Maria Musa, number three. Make sure you are, you are holding it in your booklet if you have your booklet, okay? Yalla. Type your piece of honor. Maria. The car. The Carl. The Carl fed the cat. Carl fed the dog. Are you going Carl. to the subjects or the predicates? Subject. Mm, no, we're going to join the predicates because we have the same subject. Carl and Carl. Carl is the subject, but we have different Carl predicates. The cat and the dog. Excellent. Carl fed the cat and the dog. Celine, number four. Yes. Thank you, Mariam. Number four. Yes. Let's read the sentences. Jim. 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 Sweat the steps. Bravo. Yay. Jim. 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 Wash the car. Excellent. Are we going to join the subjects or the predicates? No, no, the predicates. The predicates. Excellent, because we have the same subjects. What is the sentence after combining the, the uh, each pair of sentences? Jim mm -hmm. sweat the yep. pep. Okay. And Jim. No, 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 not the Jim. And no, and Jim, we will uh, not add Jim. Join. Excellent. So Jim swept the steps and the car. We can't say Jim swept the steps and Jim swept, uh, washed the car because we are joining them, okay? And we have the same subject. So we only write the subject once. Did you understand it, Celine? Yes. Okay. Uh, Tia, can you read number five? Yes. Yeah. Yes. They clean the oh. houses. Houses. Oh. They clean the fire truck. Excellent. Uh, are you going to join the subject or the predicate? Hoses uh, means the tube uh, that we use to spray water, that the fire trucks uh, use it, okay? Yes. Should I ask someone to help you, Tia? No, subject. Okay, no, we are not going to join the subject because we have the same subject, they and they, but we have different predicates. Okay, listen, Hassan Sabrawi, can you say the answer? Hassan. Or Hassan. Okay, Hassan Sabrawi. The answer of number five. Are we going to join the subjects or the predicates? We are going to join the 
ما عليك. Pretty gay. What? We are going to join the predicates, Hassan. Malik, say the answer of number five. Let's move on. They clean the houses and the fire trucks. Excellent. They clean the houses and the fire trucks. We are the fire trucks. Okay. Thank you. Because we have the same subject. Uh, please make sure that you solve this page in your booklet. Uh, if you still didn't understand, uh, please ask me. I want from Lauren. Lauren, give me a sentence combining uh, the two subjects. Two subjects? Yes. I hmm. help. I help. It's only one subject. This one is I. I'm not done. <laughs> I help. That I'm going to ask for oh, another I'm help and I'll come back to you. No. The past. You can say children and I, I I take care of the bird. I take care of my bird. Okay, but here it's just a simple sentence. You didn't use the word and and you didn't join the any subjects. I'm going to ask for oh. help from Noor. Yes. Can you give me a sentence combining two subjects? Yes, what? Can you give me a sentence combining two subjects? Ali Haj Hassan. Can you hear me? When I say combining two subjects, for example, 